Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to reset your Windows 11 computer. So this used to be called uh, Fresh Start back in Windows 10, and I think they might have changed it to uh, recover your computer, even later versions of Windows 10. So what this will do, supposedly, is we'll reset your Windows installation, or I wouldn't say reset it, but kind of reinstall Windows, or refresh it, I should say, but leave your uh, documents intact, but not necessarily your program. So we're going to see what happens here. So on this computer, I have a few different uh, programs that I installed, Adobe Acrobat, WinSCP, 7-Zip. I have some documents on the desktop. And then I also have some documents in a folder in the documents. I have some pictures in the pictures folder. I have 7-Zip pinned to the taskbar, so we'll see if, what happens with that. And then also I customize the uh, start menu here to add some of the default folders like pictures and documents and so on. We actually have a video on how to pin these there if you want to check that out. So what I'm going to do to reset this computer is go to settings and then under system we're looking for recovery. Now there's a few different options here. We want to reset this PC. Click on the button there. And that gives you an option to keep your files It'll remove the apps but keep your personal files or remove everything and start over. We're going to do the keep files option just to make sure that the files actually stay there. Just keep in mind you should always back up your files before you do this because you never know if it's going to work or cause a problem. All right, now let's ask how you want to reinstall Windows. If you want to do a cloud download, so download and reinstall Windows or local reinstall. Um, so we're going to do the local reinstall rather than have a re-download Windows from the Internet. Okay, so we just click on Next. So this won't take long, but we shall see. We'll be pausing the video during this process after we get going here. Okay, so it's going to change settings back to the defaults, keep personal files, reinstall Windows from this device, remove all apps and programs, and you can actually see what's going to be removed. So these are programs that have been installed since Windows was installed. So I didn't install everything here like the Visual C++ and the OneDrive that was you know done during some updates. But the Acrobat and the 7-Zip and the Partition Editor I installed. So, okay, so we'll VMware Tools and WinSCP. Okay, this is running on a virtual machine, by the way. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and click on Reset. Okay, so the computer is now restarting. Okay, so I'm going through another resetting process after the reboot here. So this might take a few minutes as well. Okay, so now we're doing the final, hopefully, Windows installation here. Okay, so we're at a login screen here, so let's see what we got. Okay, had the same user information. So now it's going to go through the typical uh, user profile configuration that you always see when you log into a new computer for the first time. Or it doesn't have to be a new computer when you log into any computer as a new user for the first time. Okay, so we have our Windows desktop, and it looks like it actually set everything back to default. Uh, all my little shortcuts here are gone. My 7-zip is gone from here. My apps on the desktop are gone, but I do have my files. Let's see what we have under all apps here. So just the default apps that come with Windows. No Adobe Reader, no WinSCP, no 7-zip. And even change the desktop resolution. Okay, that's better. Okay, so let's check our documents here. So we have the file there, the folder with the file in it, the pictures. Kept those. I don't think I had anything in down. Did have some stuff in downloads there, so that stuff's still there. And didn't have anything in music. So it also gave us gives us a uh, removed apps 
file here that we could open up and look at. So here's what it removed, which is the same thing we saw uh, when it told us about it. So that's good. So it looks like everything worked out. So we have a fresh installation of Windows. So if you were to uh, pick the cloud version at the beginning, you know, it would have downloaded Windows from the, from the internet and you probably would have had a newer build of Windows, but of course it would have taken longer. But if you do the way I did it, then you could just install Windows from your files on your PC and then just, you know, update through Windows Update like you normally would. And at least you could use your computer at the same time. So that's up to you. So anyway, so once again, you just go to your settings, down to system, and then look for recovery, and then the reset this PC option. Make sure you choose the settings to keep your files, unless you don't care about your files. And either way, make sure you back them up before you uh, do this process, just in case something goes wrong. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe. Thank you.